Wow. First, let me say hello again. You know, this is like my full time trying to make this video. And I keep getting interrupted to where I have to start all over again. It's so aggravating. But, um, <clears throat> so first, let me say hi, YouTube family. Is I, Sonika. I'm going to attempt this one last time. I know I haven't updated in three weeks, but I've just been so tired and talking is just not, you know, there. I just, I don't even like talking on the phone anymore. I just text. <laughs> uh, text. If I could text a video, I think I would. But I've just been so tired, y'all. So tired. But, um... Let me get on. Last time I updated y'all was week 13. So 14, so week 14 through 16 is what we're going to cover because I am now 17 weeks and 2 days. Hallelujah. I can't believe I made it this far, you know. It's a dream. But okay. So week 14. Only thing I remember from week 14 is indigestion. I had a lot of indigestion, y'all. Um my food would not digest. I would like and I did a lot of puking that week and when I puked it would be something that I had eaten like 8, 10, 12 hours ago. You know, it's like my food just would not digest. I had also started taking serapeptase and I was wondering if that was causing my food not to digest. And as soon as I had stopped taking serapeptase that week, uh, my digestion went away. So it could have been the serapeptase. I was trying to take it to see if it would help, you know, with my lungs like it was before. But um don't look like it agrees with me during pregnancy. So I stopped taking it. Um also week 14 I had uh was diagnosed with B V, which is not surprising. Uh with my daughter I had B V when I was younger. I had a B V a lot until I found out what my triggers were. I'm very sensitive down there. Um, so my daughter had BV, my last daughter had BV like every, like twice a month. It was horrible. And, um, with this pregnancy, you know, I, I didn't have any symptoms of BV. I was having like, um, burning when I urinate. So I just figured like I had a UTI. So I kept telling them, you know, I'm, I'm having a lot of burning when I urinate. And, um, she was like... They kept checking my urine, they did cultures, and it was like, your urine coming back clean. So she was like, well, just let me check you and see what's going on. So when she checked me, you know, they did a swab and they sent it to the lab. And then she was saying that um, my urethra and my clitoris, she said that area between the clitoris and the urethra, she said was really inflamed. So she was asking me, you know, am I, do I have any new soaps or anything? And then I told her, I said no, because I used all natural, everything. And she said, um, <clears throat> but I said, well, I did just, I did started using panty liners. And she was like, panty liners? And I said, yeah, but they're like cotton and scent free and all that. I said, so I can't, I mean, they are, that's the only new thing that I have tried. And she said, well, it must be, <clears throat> you know, irritating me down there. So, and she told me to stop using them. So I did. Um, then it came back. My culture came back. Because she was like, all your discharge, everything seems normal down there. And, um, but she was she was shocked that it came back that um, I had BV. Because I wasn't showing any symptoms of it. And she said, um, you know, they just put me on flagell. Took my pimp, took the flagell, went away. Um, <clears throat> also in week 14, I found out that I have a... Uh, anterior placenta which I know in week 13 I was telling y'all that between week what was week like week 11 and 13 I stopped feeling movement as much as I was before uh, I was 12 and 13 I remember I just remember I just stopped feeling movement because week 10 and 11 I felt like a lot of movement and then I think it was 12 and 13 is when the movement like just stopped so I might felt like a little pop every now and then. And come to find out, I have an anterior placenta. When she was doing the ultrasound, I was like, is that, is that my placenta? And she was like, yep. I said, 
I said, is it anterior? And she was like, yep. And I was like, that explains why I stopped feeling movement because my placenta moved to the front. Because last time when I had an ultrasound at, uh, I think it was 12 weeks, 11, 12 weeks, the placenta was not in the front. And so I don't remember being in the front. I wouldn't have noticed it. They never tell me. But <clears throat> so that was week 14. Uh, week 15, same thing. Um, week 15, I don't really remember much happening in week 15. Um, mm -mm, don't remember much happening. Uh, week 16. Week 16 is when I started feeling her more. She moves a lot. I really started feeling her like I felt her at the bottom and I felt her on the sides and I can feel her at the top. I really think this baby is bigger than normal, y'all. I don't think she's like the average 17 week or all what or the week that she's I think she's like a couple of weeks ahead because I can feel her all above my belly button. I can feel her all at the top of my belly. And um week 16 is when I started feeling her more and more. I started feeling her her kicks started getting stronger. She, oh my goodness, I'm starting to have a lot of Braxton Hicks. Um, especially when she moves, um, I feel a lot of Braxton Hicks. Um, my breast started leaking. Um, really, I just, I, I felt wetness one time, but then the other time I just look and it's like crust. And it's mainly my, um, my left boob. It's the only one that does it. And I also the veins, y'all have like veins all on my breast. They're just like, like a road map. <laughs> and it's like all up here also. It's like all in my shoulders and everything. And, oh, and you know, I remember when, um, when I was trying to conceive and I said, here, all the people talk about how the aerolas, aeolas or whatever you call that, you know, on your breast, everybody's get dark. Cause I have very light ones, like. Like, you know, you see my skin color is like a tad bit lighter on my breast. It's just my nipple will be dark and then my, the rest of my areola, areola, whatever, is light. So, I never really paid attention to any, any of my other pregnancies. But, um, you know, I used to always, and every time I would get pregnant, I would always check to see if my, you know, if mine were darker. And with this pregnancy, I kept wondering, I'm like, at what point is my my breast my enroll is going to get darker am i or i'm just going to always have light and week 16 they got darker they're like black i don't know if i should ask for that because <laughs> they're black <laughs> oh my goodness they're black i mean my husband was like he said he was like what happened to your brain <laughs> like look like somebody burnt them <laughs> Oh my goodness, look like somebody burnt them. And I also have the uh the the black line on the belly. I have it at the bottom and then I have one a really light one going up the top. So whew. So I have that going on. And I'm also starting to get like darkness in my skin, like right around here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But right around here, I'm starting to get like the little that little mask that they talk about in pregnancy. I've noticed that also. Um, what else has been going on? Oh, week 16, uh, my husband felt the baby. He felt her move. And then, um, he just, like, when he put his hand, he felt her, like, just brush against her hand like that. It wasn't a kick. He just felt her. I think she was turning or something. And then, um, then I seen her kick on the side like I was <laughs> I remember I don't know what I was doing I think I was on my phone and I was just looking down and I was going like this and then I saw like my shirt like go like go out like that and I was like and I thought I was seeing things I'm like what was that and and I didn't really feel it I felt something but I didn't feel it and I was just like and I'm like what was that and then it did it again I said wait and I was like is that her kicking and I look and I had to stop and like just keep still and pay attention. And then she did it again and my shirt went like that. And I was like, oh my goodness, she's kicking. I can see it from the outside. I thought that was like so cool. <sighs> so I, I think that happened. Did that happen? I think it was 16 weeks and six days that that happened. Because it was just this week. I think it was Monday. And I had got an ultrasound Monday, y'all. But uh, my pictures are at the house. But this one right here. 
is from week 14. The doctor said that she is in my hip. She doesn't, and she likes to be that way. Even now, y'all, when we, when I got my ultrasound Monday, she was face towards the back. She refused to flip over. It's like she just was chilling, laying on her side, and her face is in my hip. And she refused to move. It's like, I think she moved her other parts of her body, but she just refused to, like, turn around and, and let us see her face. Only way the doctor would get it, unless he, like, she took the wand and went, like, around my belly. That's how she got that picture right there. And, um, she's very long. Her legs, her arms, y'all, is there so long. I'm like, oh, my goodness. That's why I just know she... It's not in the normal percentile. I just have a feeling when I go for my anatomy scan um, on the 5th, they're going to say, you know, she's measuring bigger than what she is. Because like I said, I feel her all up here at the top of my stomach. And um, so, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, also, I've been shopping again, y'all. Uh, Especially in this clothes. I've whenever I see something I just have to grab it and It's getting kind of bad but the my defense You know I'm getting different sizes <laughs> That's my defense. Uh, that's my defense and I'm sticking to it Um, What else y'all? Um, as far as symptoms, I, I fatigue right now is the biggest symptom of all. I'm just dead tired. And I, I don't even remember being this tired like in the beginning of my pregnancy. I'm just like, sleep please. And if I don't get sleep, I'm like hella cranky. I'm just like snapping at everybody. And that's another one of my symptoms, y'all. I'm just snapping at everybody. My daughter came to me yesterday. And she said, Mom, she said, what are, um, what does it mean? No, she said, when you're pregnant, are you, um, like, extra emotional? And I said, I said, that's what they say. I said, why? She said, because, she said, well, what does that mean? Uh, I said, well, being emotional means that, you know, you're sad one minute, you're happy one minute, you're mad one minute. And she was like, yeah. And she said, what causes all that? And I was like, hormones. And she was like, what are hormones? So I'm breaking it down to her. And she said, yeah, you got that bad. I was like, she said, because you just snapping at everybody. You're just being so mean to everybody. And I was like, okay. And I have been really aggravated lately because I have a lot going on at home with my house. And I think that has my aggravation to another level. But... You know, everybody telling me I'm like, I have like a short fuse now. So, whatever. And so, emotional is a symptom. Um, I throw up at least once a week. I um, still have excessive saliva, but it's just not every day now. Forgive me. But it's just not every day now. I, um... Uh, I don't know, y'all. I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. That is, like, the, my main thing. I'm just tired. I'm just, like, really, really tired. I feel like... I don't even know. I just feel drained. You know, um... Food aversions... I'm eating more now. I have not gained. I'm still at the same weight. I have not gained any weight. Um, last time when I went to the doctor, I think it was like 0.6 pounds heavier. Like six, I had gained like six ounces, but I had the piece. So I don't really count that. I thought it was full. Um, so I haven't gained any weight. Feels like I have. Looking at my neck on this thing, <laughs> and I think my nose is getting bigger. Oh, goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Uh, my face is breaking out still. It's it's getting clearer than what it was before in the beginning of the pregnancy, but <sighs> it's something. Um, 
I mean, that's basically it. I mean, my thing, another thing that I've been like having a lot of is like orgasms in my sleep. Yeah, I have one like twice a night. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> It's ridiculous. And I mean, maybe it's because I'm not getting any. Like, my husband, he refused to have sex with me. I'd be like, babe, can we have sex? And he, he makes up every excuse in the book to not have sex with me. And I'm just like, really? Like, I told him about that little Zika with the mosquito and everything. And how one husband gave it to his wife having sex. So now he won't have sex with me because he's been bitten by a mosquito. <laughs> he's scared something's going to happen to the baby. <laughs> It's not funny because I'm suffering, but oh God. every time I'm like, babe, can we please have sex? And then he'd be like, he be like, I don't know because I got this mosquito bite right here. <laughs> because every time he get, even if it's not a mosquito, it could be any kind of bite. He'd be like, no, because I got this bite right here and I don't know what bit me and I don't want it. I'd be like, really? Really? <laughs> I don't know. He's just like, he don't want to do anything to jeopardize the baby. I mean, our first miscarriage happened like after one night of like really rough sex. And then the next day I found out I lost the baby. And he, he's felt bad ever since because, you know, he don't know if that's what caused it. But I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it didn't. But you know. So, I have not had sex since conception, honestly. We had sex the night of conception when I had the IUI that morning. Then that night we had sex. And that was it. I've not had sex. That's the only time I get some is in my dreams, y'all. Uh, it used to be at the beginning of the pregnancy when I used to watch something on TV that was, like, arousing. And I, I have an orgasm just by watching it. But now it's just in my dreams. And... Sometimes I look forward to going to sleep. That's how bad it is. <laughs> oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. But then he wants to talk about having another one. That's what I'm going to do. When he starts talking about having another one after I drop this load, and he starts talking about having another one, I'm like, but baby, remember you got big? We don't want the next baby. <laughs> I wonder what he... Keep that one in my back pocket. I'm gonna keep that one in my back pocket. I'm like, but baby, you remember, you know, you got bit. I mean, we don't know. We don't want to have try to have another baby. Ooh. I'm silly sometimes. I think I needed that laugh because I've just been in a funk. I think in oh, week 15, that is what happened in week 15. Week 15, I was very, very down. Like, I didn't know what was wrong with me. I would just sit there and feel sad, overwhelmingly sad, like somebody died. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I just felt, I don't know, one of my um, friends said, well, you got the baby blues or something like that. I said, I guess I do because I just felt, I mean, I was in the doctor's office and waiting for her to come in and I was just sitting there. And it's like once I started crying and getting it out, it went away. I just, I didn't feel sad anymore. After I cried and let it out, I didn't feel sad anymore. So that happened in week 15, I think twice. I do remember that. So, hope this video's coming up on 20 minutes. So, I wanna say hi to all my new, my new subscribers. And, um, um, if you're trying to TC, TTC, just want to say uh, good luck with that. And I pray that y'all get y'all BFP soon. Um, if you've been trying for as long as I have, or maybe not even that long, but you've been trying for a while, I do pray that you get to experience this. And I, my advice to you would be just don't give up. Everybody, you will be discouraged at some point, but you have to look at the big picture. No, that's how... I kept going. I looked at the ending, my reward at the end. And it was this. It was this. And I just... Everything is worth waiting for, I feel. All the good things are worth waiting for. And um, all those who just got their BFPs, I want to say congratulations. Uh, I don't remember your names 
y'all screen names, but I do remember watching y'all videos and I was very happy. Also, those who just found out that they were, what they were having, congratulations. And just want y'all to know that I am praying for all of you ladies. Everybody video I watch, I just pray that whatever your situation is, that you have a happy ending. The, um... Uh, this week, I found out that one of my um, YouTube um, vloggers had passed away, and that, oh my goodness, that cut me to the core. The last time I spoke with her was right before she was going to get induced. And I was sending her messages asking, you know, how, you know, I pray that you and the baby is okay. And then I get a message to say that she passed away giving birth. She kept passed away. And that just like cut me to the core because, you know, this lady, she, she had been trying for just as long as I have and went through numerous IVFs and finally got her rainbow and then to have a heart attack right after it's just it just like touched you just you you never know like I kept on like picturing her you know holding her baby and not knowing that that was going to be the last time she held her because she and she's been waiting for so long for I just been I was just kept having all these images in my head and it was just like it really got to me it really got to me especially you know when uh, I've been following her for so long and it just you just never know ladies you never know when your time is up and I just pray that her husband and her little girl are doing fine. I mean, I'm sure he's, he's probably, I know he's doing what he has to do to take care of his daughter, but, but that is the end of my video. My, um, my daughter's back from tutoring and I have to go and get ready for church. So. I will talk to y'all later. God bless.